hello and welcome to my youtube channel canvas in this video we are going to learn rhymer teeman reaction in this reaction phenol reacts with chloroform in the presence of sodium hydroxide followed by acidic workup to produce salicylaldehyde mechanism hydroxide ion is a base while Chloroform is an acid because there are three electron withdrawing chloro groups attached to the carbon. So, proton abstraction by hydroxide ion from chloroform produces water and trichloromethyl carbon ion, which then eliminates chloride ion to produce dichlorocarbene, which is an electron deficient species as there are only six electrons in the valence cell. As a result, it acts as an electrophile. Phenol is an acid. In the presence of hydroxide ion, it gets deprotonated like this to produce phenoxide ion that has a very electron rich aromatic ring. Now electrophilic dichlorocarbene adds to the ortho position like this to produce this non aromatic carbon ion which undergoes aromatization like this to produce two dichloromethyl phenolate. Hydroxide ion also acts as a good nucleophile and displaces one of the two chlor chloride to produce two chlorohydroxymethyl phenolate which eliminates chloride and like this to produce salicylaldehyde. Since in the medium there is hydroxide ion so it immediately abstracts phenolic proton from the salicylaldehyde to produce 2 formyl phenolate. Under acidic workup, there is protonation to produce salicylaldehyde. Now let's go through more examples. rhymer teeman reaction of beta naphthal. In this molecule, there are two unsubstituted ortho positions, alpha and gamma but formulation selectively occurs at alpha position to produce 2 hydroxy 1 naphthaldehyde the reason for regioselectivity is that alpha attack leads to the formation of intermediate that has one aromatic ring while gamma attack leads to the intermediate which shows loss of aromaticity of both the rings. rhymer teeman reaction of catechol. In this molecule, there are two positions, orthometa and metapara prone for the attack by dichlorocarbene. But attack preferentially occur at metapara position as it leads to the formation of less crowded molecule. So, the product will be 3,4-dihydroxybenzaldehyde. Let's have an interesting example of rhymer teeman reaction of paracrisol. Here, 2 formyl product is formed as the major, while 4-dichloromethyl 4 methyl cyclohex 25 dienone as minor product. Let's go through the mechanism for the formation of minor product. As we know, under alkaline condition, cresol will exist as phenolate ion, and there is generation of dichlorocarbene in the reaction mixer. Addition of dichlorocarbene to para position like this will give this anionic intermediate. It does not have tendency to aromatization because of the methyl group. 
there is water molecule in the reaction mixer so the carbon ion will get protonated like this to produce minor product there is no displacement of chloro group by hydroxy group as the attack is hysterically hindered abnormal reimer tiemann reaction under reimer tiemann condition pyrrole instead of forming 2 formyl pyrrole produces 3 chloropyridine while indole instead of forming 3 formyl indole produces 3 chloroquinoline this reaction is also known as siamesian density reaction i will take you through the mechanism for the transformation of pyrrol to 3 chloropyridine only you can draw the similar mechanism for the conversion of indole to 3 chloroquinoline pyrrol and dichlorocarbene undergo insertion reaction to produce this fused bicyclic intermediate hydroxide ion abstracts nh proton which is followed by electronic delocalization that leads to the formation of cn pi bond breaking up cc sigma bond of fuse bond formation of cc pi bond and elimination of chloride ion to produce 3 chloropyridine that's all in this video please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon if you like this video thank you very much for watching this video